Hi, hello, it's me, Ellen. Today I'm at our co-working space where we're working right now uh, while we travel um, from Europe um, via Japan back to New Zealand. Uh, in Japan, we're super excited to be on uh, attending the Vatcam Tokyo next week. Um, that's why we're currently still here and not back home. But um, we've been working in the co-working space, which was a new experience for us and it's also a lot of fun. Maybe I will do another video on that. But um, back to the real topic, I've been working a lot with Gutenberg uh, the last few weeks and I, I see some very exciting features and a lot of the um, very negative reviews in the plugin reviews I really can't understand. Of course, there are still a lot of issues and it's a, a big learning curve. So that's why I plan to release a lot more uh, Gutenberg videos in the upcoming weeks when we also prepare our themes for Gutenberg to get them ready. And um, I'm actually very excited and I discovered some uh, new features. Uh, I discover new features every time I use the editor. So I just wanna um, do a little series showing you my favorite Gutenberg features in the editor and we just um, I will just follow up on these videos and do more about them. And also if you have any questions or any concerns, just let me know in the comments below and I will try to answer them, them in future videos. So um, let's just get started and I show you uh, what I really like um, about the new editor at the moment. So I have my um, Pukwiko theme installed on my local server and I just have this random uh, post I'm working on and testing the blocks and improving it. We are working on an update for Pukiko at the moment. And one thing I saw in the reviews is that um, people complain that they can't edit the permalink of a post anymore. So I'm now um, in the new editor and I don't have the option uh, visible at the moment any longer but it's super easy um, if you know what to do so it's just a learning curve so you just click into the title um, you have and the permalink comes up here at the top and you just can edit it and change it to whatever um, you want so it's super easy and you can just save your setting and update it and off you go. So another pretty cool feature and I think it's uh, really new is um, people complained a little bit that they get distracted by all the icons um, on the top of each block. So of course there are your edit icon or change block icons and you need these options but um, if you just want to write you don't want to get um, distracted by the options so there's a new feature if you click on these uh, more icon the three dots on the top you get this option unified toolbar and what happens now is that all the options are stick to the top of the editor and not uh, to each block so um, you get a more distraction free writing experience or editing experience of your post so that's a new feature that I really like in Gutenberg and I think it's um, handy or it, a lot of people will like it um, and I think it's in general super nice that you can adapt the editor and um, adapt it to the workflow you're working on or the kind of uh, content you're creating at the moment. Another cool thing is that you um, can also mark multiple blocks and remove them at as ones so you just click on them and they will be marked and you can just um, remove them by clicking on the option tab here and remove and so this way you can mark a lot of content and remove all the blocks at once you don't have to remove each one uh, each block individually i think that's very handy and it works great in my opinion already Another Gutenberg editor feature I really like is this little info icon with the content structure. So you can see um, all the word counts, number of headings, number of paragraphs and the block number in total. And I get an outline of my uh, headings here and my whole content. So and this one is marked in uh, yellow and it says to me um, that my theme 
oh, my post has already an h1 which of course is the title and you shouldn't repeat this so i need to go ahead and change that so i change it to an h2 and update it and then if i click on info now it says i have the correct post structure and correct post heading structure so uh, that's another nice thing uh, the info tab shows me exactly um, all the information I need about my post and I really like this feature a lot. I think it's very nice and beautiful to have. So I got this question before how um, it's possible to change the post author in the Gutenberg editor and for this I need to open my settings tab and then under status and visibility so I still have the same uh, things uh, as before just a little bit more compressed here I have uh, revisions category tags featured image and so on and under status and visibility I still have the same options as in the classic editor so I have my sticky post which is the post at the moment and here I can change my author and I didn't have this setting before so I was a little confused but that was only because I have only on my test installation here I had only one author so I created another one a test author and then this option here appeared automatically so that's how you can change the author in Gutenberg Another recently added um, editor feature is the spotlight mode. So I already know this from um, other writing apps I'm using. I use I, um, IA Writer, so it has the same option. It's like a distraction free mode and some people love it. Some um, don't really care about it, but what it does is um, if you go on the more tab here and you click on spotlight mode, it highlights the individual um, paragraph you're writing on and I think this one really works well together with the unified toolbar because then it's like okay I really can focus on each um, paragraph I'm writing on I think for longer um, text and longer um, content writing it's really nice feature to have and um, currently the default mode um, wasn't hiding the content really a lot so in the Pokeko theme I adapted this a little bit and tried to make it similar to the I, um, IA writer experience so I um, was I will hide the um, other content a little bit more so it really um, is a distraction free mode and you can just click on each paragraph and concentrate on writing uh, on this one and have um, the other content a little bit hidden away I really like this feature uh, so I really wanted to mention it. I think the most handy one is um, the alt control backspace for removing a block. So I can just, uh, once I'm active in a block or even multiple ones, I can just click on alt um, control backspace to remove them. And I also can um, just go back and um, get my blocks back by um, clicking on Ctrl and Z so um, I can redo things and I think that's just um, very easy and user-friendly and modern to work this way editing your content and I really really love it and I think it works great so um, this kind of sums up my list of little features and snippets and things I love about Gutenberg and I would love to hear uh, in the comments what you really like about it and what features you discovered that you like or what you really don't like or what you find difficult um, working in the new editor if you have tested it already. A really nice thing is that you can test Gutenberg very easily um, on this live website. I will link to it um, below. Uh, it's called testgutenberg.com so on this site if you don't have any local installation and if you don't want to or test blog active and you still want to um, test Gutenberg you can go on the testgutenberg.com website and just try it out and play with the options um, so I think that's uh, very nice if you want to just have a look if you haven't tested Gutenberg yet. So I just wanted to mention that. Uh, yeah, please let me know what you think about Gutenberg, what you're concerned about, or if you have any ideas for future videos. I'm super happy if you help me um, to create more posts. And um, 
I will, I think I will do a little series with um, one new Gutenberg post each week. So uh, look forward to that. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon. Bye.